Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how the DSM handles difficult program more sympathetically than other compression processes. As I've mentioned previously, because the DSM has so many bands of compression, the sounds of dynamic events within the program can be compressed without affecting the overall timbre of the music. Coupled with the highly adaptive gain processing in the DSM, this means it's highly forgiving of very complex and dynamic material and can successfully tackle tracks that often confound conventional compressors. Now this is a great advantage on all program types, but to illustrate it in this video, I've selected a jazz track that has a very wide dynamic range and a great many very difficult percussive sounds. Basically, it's the very worst program I could find, and just the sort of thing that conventional compressors struggle with. OK, so I'll bring up the same generic demo preset I've used in all the previous videos and just start the music. Now all I'm going to do is grab a capture of the spectrum somewhere everything is playing in a typical part of the track. have now is compression based on the music spectrum itself, and with the threshold at 0 decibels and ratio set at 100 to 1, it is limiting everything to that spectrum capture. Now to illustrate how the DSM deals with all this, I will throw a whopping 24 decibels of compression of the entire program to show how it can cope with this and still provide a great sounding result. I'm going to switch to another very good quality conventional compressor so you can hear what damage this does to the music. I'm simply going to let the DSM run over this next very challenging passage so you can hear how it handles the gain control and transients.
a listen to our conventional compressor to see how it's doing. I then switched back to the DSM for the rest of the track. Thank you.